What's up guys, Josh here and welcome back to the channel guys and today we are gonna react to another Yes song. Now this Yes song, now this Yes song, y'all have been requesting so much because um, you know, I'm very, uh, I'm a drummer of course and upon hearing that y'all just instantly just recommended this song to me. And it's called Sound Chaser. The drummer that's playing here is apparently Alan White, as y'all have told me. Uh, opposite of um, uh, what what is it called again? Heart of the Sunrise, which uh, Bill Brufford was playing. I honestly love both. You know, I do love both. Like they're both they're different. They're not like a copy of one another. They're not they're not similar. They're not that similar. I guess. Yeah, they're you know they're not a copy of each other. They have different styles of playing, and both of them really fit in this band, in this band's type of music and type of sound. They completely just they smash it, both of them. So yeah, I'm really excited to hear this because y'all have said his drumming, Alan's drumming in this, is top notch. So I'm really excited to hear this right now. Let's just get into it. This is Sound Chaser. Alright guys, sound chaser in three, two, one. What the heck? Oh. Sound 
Sí, bueno. They are all showing off in this. Hold up. Sorry, guys. They are all showing off in here. <laughs> I mean, they're always showing off. But geez, they are really. I'm sorry for pausing. I had to. These guys. Let's just go back. Let's not waste any time. Goodness. I'm just speechless. Let's go. Strings. The strings. This entire story. Master of Dynamics. And to know that tempo will continue lost in tracks of dances as rhythm takes another turn. As is my one, I only reach to look in your I should have expected that.
that was that what the f watch your profanity y'all were right alan's drumming in this is he was blazing in this dude ridiculous his his timekeeping is phenomenal i mean of course like yes yes is a bunch of they're a bunch of aliens like they their timekeeping especially drummer th their timekeeping abilities are ridiculous this dude has an entire time machine in his freaking pocket heck his freaking bass drum pedal oh no his bass drum is a time machine ridiculous this dude is his his timekeeping ability is ridiculous ridiculous the thing is though like he's different i feel like like i don't think bill's better than him or he he, he is better than bill i i feel they're different they're just like they have their own style their own their own approach and each of the, the the songs that they play you know individually they they're both they're both very different they bring unique sound they bring a unique sound to yes and they, they they're both just like they can't they can't really be compared you know because they they don't have the same style like it's easier to compare when you have the same style you know but when you have such different styles it's just like mm, it's not really it's not really worth comparing because like you can't really compare it because they're different you know so yeah alan killed it in this one bill also killed it in, in heart of the sunrise so they're both ridiculous drummers to be honest everybody else was also <laughs> everybody was completely baited by alan's playing like they they just started showing off as soon as he showed off like they were like, yeah, you're not going to steal the spotlight from me. <laughs> it's my turn now. First of all, we got to we got to talk about what kind of story this song is. Like, I had a feeling this song was like very story based. So, like, let's check out the lyrics and, you know, check out the meaning of the song. It's probably about a, a fantasy type story, I think. Faster moments spread, spread tales of change within the sound, counting form through rhythmic, rhythm electrically. Hmm. Let's check the meaning. Okay, so this is like an experiment. So, Sound Chaser is it's like an experiment to like a more, you know, uh, broad type of. Uh, sound and uh, basically music overall to what they were they were used to doing I guess like as it said there like they uh, were exploring more with jazz and fusion type sounds and so like they really like went out of their their comfort zone I guess in this one and even Alan White said, like, this is this album, Relayer album, is like his favorite album out of all the Yes albums. So, you know, that must that must mean something. Like, okay, someone said, it's my personal belief the band is trying to convey the power of music to a sewage, the emotions of the world. And its purpose is a driving and uniting cultural force. True. Music is an, is a universal music is universal, basically. Music brings everyone everywhere together. From everywhere together. I mean, music changes lives, to be honest. Music is such a powerful driving force. Music is is one of the music is one of the greatest things to ever happen to mankind, to be honest. I don't know I don't know what we would be without music. And that's that's what I think that's what Yes is trying to say. If y'all have any other songs from them or bands that are similar to them that y'all want me to react to, y'all can just comment down below 
on the comments. And guys, right, y'all have also said uh, Bill, Bill Brufford plays for Cri King Crimson. And I really want to react to a King Crimson song. So can y'all recommend me a good King Crimson song? Not a good, I'm, I'm sure all their so uh, songs are really good. But like, would you recommend a like uh, first time hearing or like first time song, first song basically, you know, for a first time listeners? that y'all can recommend to me. I'd really appreciate it, guys. Thank you. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If y'all did, uh, please press the like button. And if y'all would, please also don't forget to subscribe. And with that being said, thank you, guys. I'll see y'all later. Bye.